Hidden Valley, Darwin, Australia. This is where the cars of the future start. For the all-electric solar cars of the Bridgestone World of Solar Challenge, we will travel 3,000 kilometers from tropical Darwin across the country to the south of Australia to Adelaide. The Bridgestone World Solar Challenge has the reputation of being one of the most difficult solar challenges available. And who invented these cars? 28 teams of students from all over the world. Uh, we've been working very hard as a team for the past two years anticipating this moment, and it's surreal that we're actually here now. The solar teams design and build their cars on their own. The vehicles must not be longer than 5 meters and no wider than 2.2 meters. These rules limit the surface of the solar panels to 4 square meters. A lot depends on Bridgestone's new sustainable enlightened tires. Every area of technology counts here. And uh, in the area of tires, it's all about a combination of energy efficiency and durability. We're extremely excited to be using the Enlighten this year, and we're even more excited to see how this technology develops over the next few years. Not only the technology, but also the teams have to put in a lot of effort. The drivers take turns and shifts from 8 in the morning till 5 in the afternoon. At night, they camp at the roadside. It's a very tough competition with the team and the team spirit. You know, we have to keep together and you know, be a team that uh, holds on to, to each other really good. You know, you have to cooperate with each other and they take some good decisions uh, during the race. As the test phase is complete, things start to get serious for the teams. Large parts of the route lead right through the outback, meaning the teams and their vehicles must be prepared for some special challenges. In the middle of the outback, uh, you don't have you know, the, every convenience store you might have in a bigger city. You know, the wildlife, the heat, the sand, the dust, all of these make it a very unique challenge to be able to take on. At first, however, the teams had to overcome classic rush hour problems. It was exciting while coming into the city because of the traffic. We had a lot of traffic merging, traffic turning. It's feeling uh, quite well actually driving here. It's uh, quite hot as expected. I overtook uh, two long road trains. Quite impressive I would say. The constant heat also poses a particular challenge for the tires. Drove 750 kilometers without any tire problems. Uh, and when we checked them we saw that they were basically still brand new. The car went absolutely smooth, no flat tires at all, so it's been a pleasure to work uh, with the Bridgestone Enlighten. I mean, honestly, their, their reliability and efficiency has made sort of all the difference for us. But there were unexpected charging problems. Our battery is pretty drained. Uh, we did collect sun, of course, throughout the day, which was really, really crucial. But now that the car is standing, it can collect the final rays of sunshine. So it's been grueling, it's tough, it's hot out here. Temperatures in the solar cars are typically about 10 degrees hotter than air temperature, which today it's been about 39 degrees. The Belgian team in Optus has been able to cope best with these conditions. Followed closely by the runners-up from the last race, the Dutch team Twente. This is the world's greatest solar challenge. It's a challenge for a reason. It's going well, but we're working hard. For sure, this is one of the greatest adventures of our lives. Definitely pays off all the effort. It's been fantastic, quite the experience. It's really great seeing all the different cars. And Adelaide, we're on our way, we're halfway there. In the second half of the race, the Belgian team was able to pull away with a lead of around 20 minutes. Partly because a special fin on their car, which stabilizes the vehicle in crosswinds, turned out to be a real secret weapon. All teams cheered equally as they crossed the finish line. Boys can describe it. We've all worked so hard for this. To finish here in Adelaide first, it's amazing. It took a huge effort from the complete team, uh, extended team, alumni, media team, drivers, you name it, they put their absolute effort into it. And also for the organizers, the race was a great success. The World Solar Challenge is amazing. It pushes the bounds of sustainability to levels unknown to mankind at this moment. And I just think it's changing the world. The World Solar Challenge for us is one of the big platforms 
for the future sustainable motorsports. The innovation here is incredible. This event is making the world a better place. Drivers worldwide should benefit from this. We are using the uh, n right zone technology for this year, the uh, tire. We will transfer to the, uh, this technology to the uh, road tire. The enlightened technology was first used at this motorsport event and is set to be market ready soon. The tires are made up of 63% recycled and renewable materials, including recycled organic fibers, reclaimed carbon black and recycled oil. The manufacturer aims to set important milestones for a more sustainable mobility society.